This first Congress at Harvard has been a huge success. It has been widely celebrated all over the world. There has been a two-page article in Science Magazine. Basically, because of the rich power it has of people who have spent their life touching people and working this fascia from people who have been in their laboratory corners for the last 30 years, exploring one little aspect of, of fascia in their laboratories. And as you can see, uh, there was a, a great excitement generated. The scientists came afterwards and said, huge, you know, this was a very powerful conference because it allowed me to look over my narrow field. And clinicians came, like Tom Myers came afterwards and said, I've been waiting for that for 30 years, you know, for this kind of real dedicated research to happen into our field and not just clinicians getting up and making our textbook philosophies uh, on, on what supposedly happens under their hands. So uh, both sides felt like this is a very potential and uh, there is a, a strong enrichment there but also some huge difficulties in the meeting that were reflected in the science article because we speak so many different languages and also there is some a strong attraction between these two groups uh, you have some very inherent difficulties and controversies uh, and it's also partly based on personality types like in my uh, normal life I switch every week between the laboratory university where I'm surrounded by scientists and then I enter the love and peace universe of the complementary <laughs> field again and it's very, you have to foster these different values. As scientists, uh, I trust only those scientists who have an, an autistic style, who say, no, I don't want to listen, I, I need to focus. So they are specialized on one little receptor molecule, and they don't come up with early explanations before they have really finished the counting and done the statistics. And these are the scientists that, 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 that I trust in terms of their results. So this is, this is the enrichment of what we are trying to have here. So the people who are treating, many of you are treating whole people, not just one little receptor molecule. And you have the whole person on the table. And this is uh, definitely a, a perspective that the scientists are eager to include in their works.